How is the United States, given the tremendous burden of military responsibility our country's been carrying, where we spend more than the rest of the world combined on mm. defense, how in a shriveling economy will the Americans be able to continue to, how do I say, exert that kind of presence in national security around the world? Well, I think the way we are headed, smaller governments uh, is the wrong way to go. Because that idea of having a small government is fine as long as private sector is healthy mm -hmm. and, and are looking forward. But right now, once in every 70 years when this huge bubble bursts and the private sector balance sheets are, are in horrible shape, private sector is no longer forward looking, they're backward looking, trying to repair their balance sheets by paying down debt, even with zero interest rates. You know, the fact that Americans are deleveraging with zero interest rates shows how sick the private sector is. Right. And when you're in this situation, if you try to shrink the government, the whole thing shrinks and the economy falls into this 1,900, 810, that Spiral. scenario. Yeah. And there will, be, there will be less money for defense. Other countries who are trying to take advantage of the U.S. weakness will have a field day. And I would argue that it's good that China is doing the right things, right, putting the right set of policies. But the way to counter that, which because, because the Chinese are doing the right things, the Chinese economy is doing well, and therefore their defense spending is increasing, the r right way to counter that is not to tell the Chinese to do the wrong economic policy, but for us to put in the right economic policies. Right. Right. And that's not small government at the moment. The government has to play a key role to keep the GDP from falling so that private sector has the income to pay down debt. Yeah. Yes. And once the private sector is healthy, then we reverse our role.